guys hear me? Nice. So student engagement. For the teachers that we've worked with, they let us know it is the most important factor for improving educational outcomes. But still, when you look at classrooms across the United States, only about half of the students are actually engaged. So I think it's pretty easy to say that we all can agree this needs to improve. And we know that engagement is very, very powerful. Just a 1% uptick in student engagement can lead to a 6% improvement in reading scores and an 8% improvement in math scores. So it's a super powerful lever for change. So the obvious question should be, well, how can we measure it? So BrainCo has been working for a few years to develop a medical grade, soon to be FDA approved device to do just this. It's gonna change the way that we measure student engagement and it's called Focus One. Focus One is the world's first wearable device specifically designed to detect and analyze users' attention levels. With proprietary hardware and an algorithm based on a formula developed at NASA, Focus One accurately translates brain signals into attention level. Now, let's see what a class with Focus One looks like. When students use the Focus One, teachers can immediately tell when their students are in a low attention state or high attention state. With Focus One, teachers are notified if real-time classroom average attention level drops too low. They can then re-engage their students. When students are in group discussions or working on team projects, teachers can easily observe all of their students' attention levels from one place. With this information, they can give individualized attention to those who need it most. With Focus One, teachers can engage in systematic reflection of their teaching by utilizing the Classroom Attention Level Report. Focus One offers teachers an opportunity to discover what works and what doesn't in their classrooms. It can further provide an excellent foundation for the development of new approaches to teaching in order to optimize student engagement in the classroom. With Focus One, students can use the individual attention level report as a self-assessment tool to develop themselves as independent learners. Incorporating all of these features allows teachers and students to improve academic performance, learning efficiency, and attention level, which all lead to a more enjoyable and fulfilling educational experience. So I hope you guys liked my acting skills there. Uh, so there's billions being spent on ed tech, on professional development, and in the Chinese extracurricular markets, but there's currently no product like ours available right now. And if you zoom out a little bit into the brain machine interface market, we have the highest capital efficiency, having signed a $4 million order on $5.5 million in funding. So with that $4 million order, we're working with the Chinese distribution company, and they've expressed interest in placing a second order about 30 times larger once they've entered and educated the growing Chinese market. We're also setting up some pilot studies in the US and China to determine where is the best fit for this technology? Where does this really shine? And where are other tools uh, more appropriate? We're also raising a $20 million Series A to explore this vertical and other verticals, and that raise is going very, very well. So with these thousands of units going to China, we'll be able to build one of the world's largest brainwave databases. All of that data is gonna allow us to improve our algorithms and therefore our product, raising the barrier to entry for any competitors. That's our first mover's advantage. We're also very, very proud to announce that Dean Ryan from the Harvard Graduate School of Education has joined our board of advisors. We are the first and only startup he's ever agreed to advise. Thomas Kane is our volunteer advisor and also Dr. Shafi uh, from Harvard Medical School is one of our advisors. So the reason why we're the only ones who are able to do this is because of our interdisciplinary team. Bi Chung is the CEO and founder. He's getting his PhD from the Harvard Center for Brain Science. I have a master's from the Harvard Graduate School of Education. And we have several other PhDs from Harvard and MIT on our team of 25 in Boston and 10 in Shenzhen, China. So in summary, we know our teachers deserve better. In fact, Bill Gates gave a TED Talk where he said, teachers do not receive the systematic feedback they need in order to improve at their job. So Brainco is here to give that feedback to teachers, give that feedback to students, so that we can drive educational outcomes for everyone. Thank you.